Do you ever found yourself caught in a repetitive cycle like being on a hamster wheel, where each day feels like an endless repetition? You wake up in the morning, go to work, and as if you are functioning on autopilot. Throughout the day, you're constantly checking your phone, counting down the hours until you can finally go home, or you daydream about what life would be like without the responsibility of a job. Once you're home, you slip into the familiar routine of cleaning, cooking, and taking care of the kids. Eventually, after the kids have gone to bed, you have a brief window of time to relax, catch your breath, and unwind by watching Netflix or comfortably lying in bed, engrossed in your phone. However, before you know it, it's late, and you have to go to bed, so you can wake up early the next morning and start the same cycle all over again. With each day feeling like a variation of the previous one, at times you can't help but wonder: Is this all there is to life? Will I be stuck in this routine until I reach the age of sixty or even later? What about all the dreams I had, the places I longed to explore? If you're watching this video, chances are you resonated with the sentiments. I want to assure you that it's never too late to rediscover the joy of living and rekindle your dreams. Even though we may be halfway through our lives, it often seems like everything is predetermined, as if the course of our lives has already been set. All we are required to do is follow that course. However, well-known stories like Colonel Sanders and Vera Wen would somehow change the way we think about the whole thing. They are inspiring examples of individuals who achieved remarkable success after the age of sixty. Proving that it's never too late to pursue one's dreams. At the age of 62, Colonel Sanders founded KFC and transformed it into a global fast food empire, revolutionizing the industry with his unique recipe and unwavering determination. Similarly, Vera Wang, at the age of 40, shifted her career from being an editor to pursuing her passion for fashion design. Ultimately, becoming a renowned and influential designer known for her elegant bridal gowns, their story served as a powerful reminder that age should never be a deterrent, but rather a testament to the endless possibility that lie ahead. Encouraging us all to embrace our aspirations and chase success at any stage in life. I hope that after you watching this video, you will find inspirations to break free from this limited belief and change your perspective on life. There's so much more awaiting us out there—a world brimming with experiences, beauty, adventure, and opportunities to make a meaningful impact. You can also impart these valuable lessons to your children. But how exactly do we break free the limitation of reality? How do we maintain consistency and the motivation to gradually working towards something, avoiding the despairing thoughts that our lives will remain stagnant until the end? Here, I present to you a collection of the daily practices that will help you initiate transformation. Start with a hobby or side hustle. You know, it's surprising how many people get stuck in the same old nine-to-five routine. Coming home and mindlessly distracting themselves because they believe that's the best life they can have. But hey, let me tell you something important. We are living in an age where the internet and social media platforms have a tremendous power. Yeah, sure, they have their downsides, but they also offer incredible benefits. You can showcase your talents and ideas to the entire world, reach a global audience. We all have something unique to offer. Something we're passionate about. So instead of wasting time on meaningless TV shows or mindlessly scrolling through social media, it's time to grab a pen and paper, sit down, and start reflecting on your passion and dreams. You know, I've always had this burning desire to start my own business. I gave it a shot while working full time when I was younger, but unfortunately, my attempts ended in failure. Then life happened. I had kids, and my responsibilities shifted. I got caught up in my corporate career and family life, and my dream took a backseat. But every now and then, feelings of hopelessness and yearning for self-actualization would resurface, reminding me of what I truly wanted. It seemed like an impossible dream, and I didn't even know where to begin. 
But you know what? Inspiration can come from the most unexpected places. One day, someone close to me showed me that you can make it. You can have your own business if you have the courage and you know, work hard, persist. That really struck a chord with me. A few years ago, my inspiration came rushing back, and even though I had no clue where to start or what to do, I refused to give up on my dreams. It was a journey of a research, trial of error, and many failures along the way. But you know what? In the midst of all those failures, inspiration kept finding its way back to me. And then, out of blue, it hit me: starting a YouTube channel. Can you believe it? It was like a light bulb moment. Creating my own content, connecting with a larger audience and people from everywhere in the world, and the potential for future growth got me all fired up. And also great for pushing myself out of comfort zone and learning new skills. The most amazing thing is that it gave me a sense of purpose and direction. I no longer feel like I'm trapped in a never-ending cycle. Every day, I'm excited about creating value, expressing my true self through my YouTube videos. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't have all the answers, and I don't know how long it will take for this venture to become a full-time thing or where it will lead me. But you know what? At this stage, I firmly believe that anything is possible. I'm ready for new inspirations, new directions, and new opportunities that come my way as I keep putting in the effort and pursuing my dreams. And you should too. Don't let your dreams fade away. Embrace the journey. Embrace the unknown. And who knows what amazing things await you along the way. Be consistent and persistent. Compound the effect. You know what they say: consistency, persistence, and perseverance are the key factors for success. But nowadays, people tend to overlook this fact, especially when they are caught up in the daily grind of being a parent, juggling a nine-to-five job. And all the other responsibilities that come their way, it feels like there's never enough time to work on anything else. If you are a young person watching this, use your time wisely before you dive into bigger commitments. This is the perfect time in the world to pursue everything you've ever wanted. Stop following everyone else's footsteps and engaging in mindless activities like getting drunk just because everyone else is doing it. Sure, it may seem fun at first. But after doing it a hundredth of times and waking up with a hangover, you start questioning where your life is headed. Life isn't all about getting wasted, chasing temporary thrills, or following superficial trends. Now, I'm not saying it's too late for parents or anyone over a certain age to make a change. Sure, your time becomes much more scarce than before. Still, when people say they don't have time, it's often because they don't prioritize their time for something. Think about it. It's so much easier to come home after a busy day and stressful day, lying in bed, scrolling through your phone, and watch Netflix for half an hour or an hour before bed. It feels like a way to escape and relax. But why not use that time to work on something meaningful? Even if you can spare just half an hour a day and sacrifice half an hour of Netflix or scrolling time, it adds up. That's three and a half hours a week, 182 hours a year. Sometimes working on something doesn't require a huge amount of time, but it does demand your dedication, focus, and passion, and it builds over time. I mentioned this book called *The Compound Effect* in one of my past YouTube videos. It talks about two individuals: one who does nothing day after day, and the other one who puts a little effort and time to build something. Whether it's improving fitness, developing good habits, writing a book, or even just reading for a few minutes, this person prioritizes those activities because they understand that these small efforts will eventually lead to something significant. Though the time invested may seem minimal, they know it will accumulate and create impact over time. On the other hand, the person who does nothing at all may not see much difference initially. But several years down the line, the contrast becomes evident. So, if you feel like a strong desire to work on something, to pursue your dreams and make something of your life, use the little time you have and prioritize it. What's the alternative? Accepting that you will have to wait until retirement, hoping you will still have the energy and health to enjoy the rest of your life. Take action now and make the most of the little time you have. 
be grateful and develop ability to enjoy simple things in life. You know, building anything worthwhile takes time. I've come to realize that whatever I want to achieve is not going to happen overnight. When you think about it, life isn't really about the end result; it's about the journey. It reminds me of this movie called Soul. You know that animated film. There is this feeling when you climb a mountain and reach the top. You celebrate for a moment, but then you start thinking, "Okay, what's next?" So, what happens next? It's the same when we thrive to accomplish things. When we believe that life is all about the end result, we'll always feel a sense of emptiness once we achieve it. That's why people say it's all about the journey, not the outcome. The journey is where we found inspiration, experience failure, feeling a sense of achievement, and discover new path. Those little golden nuggets of life, they are what gives meaning to our existence. Life is like a roller coaster with ups and downs, and it's crucial to find joy in the ride. Recently, I had an epiphany. You know how we often think that once we reach a certain level, like buying a house, having kids, or earning a certain income, we'll finally be happy and problem-free. Well, I realized that life will always have its problems. They just change to another form as we progress. Problems are an inherent part of life. And the effort we're putting to solving them is what truly defines our journey. That's why it's so important to remain grateful and appreciate what we have. Keeping a gratitude journal and acknowledging the blessing in our lives is essential, because if we can't appreciate what we already have, no amount of achievements or material possessions will bring us true happiness. Peace and happiness are feelings that we, as humans, need to cultivate from within. They can't be achieved solely through material wealth, and even if they could, they would be fleeting and temporary. That's why you see so many rich people continuously shopping and indulging in all sorts of things, yet they still feel that void inside. It doesn't get better. Sometimes we need to slow down and take a moment to appreciate the simple pleasures of life, smell the roses, and listen to the birds singing. Gaze at the moon and the stars, cherish the laughter of our loved ones. Those are the moments that truly reflect the beauty of life. Nothing is permanent, so we must treasure those experiences while we can. Life is all about creating memories and embracing the journey. Work on the fundamentals, a good routine. Developing good habits can have a significant impact on maximizing your productivity while simultaneously improving your health and extending your lifespan. If you genuinely want to change your life and strive for something meaningful, it's crucial to focus on the fundamentals. And by fundamentals, I mean your daily routine. As I mentioned earlier, people in their 30s and 40s already have substantial responsibilities and limited time to dedicate to anything else. Establishing a solid routine is the only way to ensure that the time we have can be effectively used to build our dreams, regardless of its scarcity. Because here's the simple truth: if there is no input for your goals or passion, there won't be any output of any sort of progress. It's not just about the quantity of time we can devote to our projects or endeavors. It's also about maximizing our productivity. For instance, I pay close attention to how I schedule and spend my time. I usually set aside at least a half an hour or an hour of highly concentrated work every day to focus on my side hustle. As a parent, you probably know that when you have young children at home, it's challenging to concentrate on anything while they are awake. Initially, I used to work on my project after they went to bed. However, I soon realized that by that time, I was physically and mentally exhausted. I couldn't think clearly or tap into my creativity, which is crucial for the type of work I do. Then one day, it struck me that the only time I could engage in highly focused and concentrated work on my project was when everyone else is still asleep in the early mornings. Surprisingly, I started to enjoy those early mornings when it's still dark outside and the world is quiet. I cherish that time to hear myself, to be able to think, light candles, play soft music, and even do a bit of meditation. 
It allows me to start working on my project with a refreshed energy in the morning, free from distractions and fully immersed in the flow state. Believe me, I used to be a night owl, and I love my sleep too much to even consider becoming an early bird. But ever since I set my sights on pursuing my dreams, I no longer sleep in. Of course, there are days when it's tempting to stay in bed, snuggle up, and snoozing. Sometimes it can be challenging to find motivation to get up. However, there's one question that has been a powerful motivator for me lately, and is what I ask myself each morning when I wake up: Do I want to live my life like this for the rest of my life? If I don't want to remain trapped in the rat race indefinitely, I need to make different choices. I need to do the opposite of what everyone else is doing. Sleeping in and enjoying a leisurely snooze won't lead to a different life. It's crucial to make a conscious decision to prioritize dreams and goals. And yes, transitioning to waking up early in the mornings taking some getting used to, but there are key habits to help you with that. For example, meditating before going to bed can improve the quality of your sleep. It's also essential to avoid using phones before bedtime to minimize the impact of blue light on your sleep quality. Going to bed at a consistent time, as early as possible, can be beneficial. Additionally, reading a book before sleep can help with the relaxation completely before dozing off. When you have a routine, achieving your goals becomes easier. Imagine someone whose sleeping schedule is erratic. Waking up and falling asleep at random times throughout the day or night, how difficult would it be for them to consistently wake up early in the morning? Establishing a healthy, consistent routine not only helps with waking up early, but also provides side benefits, such as easier sustaining your energy levels for working on your side hustle and spending quality time with your family. Your mood becomes more stable, and it greatly contributes to your overall health. If you envision working on your dream for a long period of time, maintaining good health is paramount. Without health, money loses its meaning, and the dreams are left abandoned. Imagine one day, instead of resigning yourself to the thought of "this is how it will be for the rest of my life," you have actually built something remarkable from scratch, regardless how long it took. Feeling proud of your accomplishments becomes a true reflection of who you are, granting you the privilege to choose the life you truly desire. You can embrace the lifestyle you want, engage in activities that brings you joy, and spend time with your family, loved ones, and friends. You no longer have to worry about money. You can freely travel, meet new people across the globe. Most importantly, you can look back and feel content. Knowing that you've given your life your best effort and created something meaningful, you become the master of your own destiny rather than being a passive recipient of fate and the circumstances. So, make up your mind and realize that you still have the power to change your path and build something extraordinary. To conclude, let me share a quote from Einstein: "Reality is merely an illusion, albeit a very persistent one." The truth is, if you grasp this concept at a younger age, instead of wasting time chasing fleeting experiences like parties and romantic encounters, you can start pursuing your life goals and build your dreams early on, before family and responsibilities come into play. This grants you a greater chance of having more time to work on yourself and your aspirations. However, that doesn't mean that it's too late for people who just realize their goals and dreams later in life, even if after turning 30s, 40s, assuming significant responsibilities. There is still plenty of life to live, dreams to achieve, and a meaning to fulfill. You can do it. It's never too late. As I record this, I'm embarking on a YouTube career, and I refuse to give up. I will dedicate whatever little time I have to work on it because I have a dream. And I'm determined to make a reality. Please support my dream by subscribing to my channel. I aim to create more content to encourage not only myself but also like-minded individuals to make a tangible difference. If you're interested, I look forward to seeing you in my next video.